He's bloody freezing. <laughs> what are we doing on the beach? <laughs> Make sure I charge my Garmin, make sure I've charged my lights Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving Nothing compares to the thrill, underprepared for the hills I used to get wheels on air, now I put air in my wheels Change that tune, train and cruise, chain's been lewd Pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack But then my pace improves, bars and cadence are strong Now my legs up, my cadence are long It's about time we do this, it's the cycling tattooist What is up guys? If you're new here, my name is Thomas Martinez and welcome to the channel. And if you're regular, then welcome back. Now you join me this morning on day four of our amazing trip. We are traveling all the way from Alicante up to Girona in Spain. And we've been having an amazing time so far. If you haven't watched part one of this video, then make sure you go watch that right now. But anyways, as I say, today is day four. I'd better keep this short and sweet because time is getting on and we need to hit the road. We've got a big day in the saddle today, but first things first, of course, it's breakfast time. <laughs> So we're out on the road and uh, well there's no two ways to put it, it's bloody freezing. What even is the temperature right now? One degree. Oh my god. I mean I know a lot of you are going to think well it is December mate, what was you expecting? But I'm going to be honest I wasn't expecting that. How are you feeling mate? Yeah I'm not too bad, apologies for keeping you up. Oh, I know mate. <laughs> between, <laughs> between us two we're a nightmare, I sleep talk and he snores. But I've got earplugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we've had some uh, long days in the saddle. Definitely starting to hurt now. Yeah, I can feel the miles in the legs. Don't yeah. know about you. Yeah. <laughs> We're keeping our spirits up. We've got 115 miles on the cars today. But then that will be the end of the long days. The days will start getting shorter and hopefully a bit easier. Are we not in Barcelona tonight? No, we're going to <laughs> we're going to Reyes tonight. Let's crack on for a bit. I need to warm up. Tell you what, guys, I am suffering. Ugh. Feel unprepared for uh, these conditions. I think that's half the reason I do these things is so I can tell you guys what not to do. To be honest, <laughs> number one is uh, well, if you're riding in December, probably a good idea you wear a winter jacket. <laughs> this one's not quite thick enough, so I messed up there. Number two. Overshoes, that's an absolute schoolboy error. My feet are absolutely frozen, and uh, as you can see, it's been raining, so they are soaked through. I literally cannot feel my toes whatsoever. In all fairness, we are in the mountains right now. Once we get down closer to sea level, well, fingers crossed, temperature should pick up a bit. Hopefully, I'll regain some feeling in my toes again, and the rest of my body. Any more tips to add? Nick bar. Nick bar. Yeah. I've taken it off now, but first thing this morning, that thing was unreal. Yeah, they are good. And a cap. Yeah, also forgot that as well. A lot of your heat escapes from your head, so a cap, keep the heat in. Even just a normal cap makes a big difference. There you go. The man, he said it himself. <laughs> Stick a cap on. <laughs>
Oh man, what a descent. Oh, if that was in the dry, that would be absolutely incredible. Obviously, when it's wet like that, you do have to be a bit careful because it's just not worth risking it. Some of them corners were a little bit sketchy. We just come from all the way up there. Even though I'm frozen, oh, I'm bloody happy, I tell you now. <laughs> oh, look at this. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. Obviously where we've been doing a lot of climbing, we have made quite slow progress distance wise. 26 miles so far, a fair old chunk to go. But we have whacked out most of the elevation for today. So things are gonna start getting a bit flatter. Well, as you can see, we've retreated to a restaurant. I am in absolute bits. <laughs> I can't even feel my toes. Am I the only one? Are you, are you suffering or is it just me? Uh, it's <laughs> Let's uh, load up on some food, sit underneath this heater for a little while and hopefully feel a bit more human. Oh my God. Back on the road, no mucking about today. We, uh, we haven't got time to burn. So we pretty much smashed our faces. Faces? <laughs> faces, <laughs> I can't speak, it's so cold. Smashed our faces with food and we've hit the road again. We are on yet another mission to get to our destination before dark. The destination today is Reyes. So let's put, I can't even speak. So let's put that pedal to the metal and get ourselves to Reyes. Woo, let's do it. Pick the spirits up. Oh, just a bit. <laughs> Amazing what a bit because sunshine can do, isn't it? We needed that, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, oh we're alive again. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I think that was a pinch pack. Oh. Just absolutely bottomed out on that. To be fair, we've done pretty well. We're on day four, and uh, this is our first mishap. It's very true. <laughs> oh, f you. What happened? Cool, cool come out. Oh. Uh, no. see we're back on the road after our little mishap and as I said earlier this is yet again a race against the dark and something tells me we're not gonna make it again <laughs> we've got about 30 miles or so to do and about an hour and a half until it gets dark hence my concern <laughs> look at this not a clue where we are but gorgeous but yeah anyways as I was saying probably not gonna make it but I guess we can hope for the best so yeah let's get our head down get stuck in and uh, get ourselves to Reyes <laughs> 
So we're just coming into Reyes now. And well, as you can see, it's pretty bloody dark. <laughs> we definitely didn't complete our mission of getting here before dark anyway. We're just trying to figure out where the hotel is. We're gonna get ourselves in, get nice and toasty, and more importantly, have a feast on some food. But anyways, we've hit 110 miles today. So another massive day out on the bike. A lot of climbing again, so the legs are feeling it. But great news for tomorrow. We actually have an easier day. Definitely looking forward to that, let me tell you. And maybe we'll actually get there before dark. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys there for tonight and I'll catch up with you in the morning and let you know where we're off to. See you then. Good morning and welcome to day five of our incredible journey to Girona. We are in this absolutely beautiful city of Reyes and we've got a pretty nice apartment here. I mean, look, we've got this beautiful balcony. You can actually see there's some sort of uh, church spire or something there in the background. But anyways, today, day five, we've apparently got a bit of an easier day, which is music to my ears. So the guys have said that we've got 70 miles in the cars today and after a few very hard days on the bike. I think it's about time we had a bit of a rest day, to be honest. So yeah, today we're gonna take things nice and easy. Um, we're gonna be trying to stop more, hopefully have a few calf stops, I think. And yeah, just generally trying to enjoy ourselves because after all, we didn't come here to absolutely murder ourselves. We come here to have fun, so <laughs> yeah. That's the plan for today. Let's get to it. I was going to speak to this. Yeah, in a cabaret. What was your uh, MC Tropical? MC Tropical! <laughs> T R O A C A L when I'm on the mic on the Liverpool Tropical. Incredible, so unstoppable when I'm on the mic on the Liverpool Liverpool! <laughs> oh, yes! What are we doing on the beach? <laughs> it thinks there's a road here. Oh, right. Yeah, we're trying to find Is it. that the road? Hey, look. It... <laughs> what, along there? Yeah, along there. Oh, all part of the fun, eh? So we're back on the road after our little detour to the beach. And uh, <laughs> now we've got some gravel. <laughs> As you can kind of tell from uh, our route today, we're sort of making it up as we go along. Are we actually going down here? Maybe. Uh, it's only the uh, road. Uh, you, you, you can uh, through the, 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 the property. Looks like we're turning around. This is not the one in uh, road bike cleats either. <laughs> These guys have got SPDs on, so they're all right, but. I've got bloody speed plates on. Well, there you go. We're only 14.2 miles into this ride so far, and it's already been very eventful. I'm not even sure I've told you where we're actually heading today. We are off on our way to the beautiful city of Barcelona. I have been there before, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm definitely looking forward to being back there. And as I mentioned earlier, today is an easier day. So with any luck, we should actually have some time to explore the city and uh, just enjoy ourselves. After all, we're on holiday. <laughs> Anyways, we're back on this main road now and uh, it's not too busy, so I'm quite happy uh, chugging along on here. We'll definitely clock up the uh, mileage a little bit quicker than if we used to have gone down that gravel road anyway. But as I said, we're kind of winging it today. We haven't technically got a route. <laughs> we just know we're heading for Barcelona, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Tom, I said, 
says, do you want to come to Spain? <laughs> this is what I imagined. <laughs> the four days before, I did not imagine them. This is what I imagined. Are you looking forward to being in Barcelona, mate? Yeah, I am. Barcelona. Have you been there before? Brother Stagdu. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah oh, the, I think this is going to be a little bit of a different trip. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, uh, your favourite thing you're looking forward to in Barcelona? I do like a bit of a shop. You've got Zara. <laughs> <laughs> you're, but, not, you're not but, going all the way to Barcelona to go to Zara. I'm going all the way to Barcelona. <laughs> but from Zara, 10 minutes, you can be on the beach. Yeah. We could totally mix this up and we could get a boat across to Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> Party! All right, Lawrence, change your plan. We just stick to a f road. <laughs> yeah, I will. Well, as you can see, we've hit. Oh. As you can see, we've hit even more gravel. How are you enjoying the gravel, mate? Love it. <laughs> Lawrence loves it. You can guarantee that Ben is so smug right now because he's the only one with a gravel bike. <laughs> As some of you may know, I don't actually own a gravel bike, nor have I really done any gravel riding. It is a lot of fun. I can see why a lot of you guys like it. It definitely adds to the whole adventure aspect of it. And, uh, well, what were my BMX in roots? takes me back to uh, being a kid and just getting out on my bike. Um, I don't know, think I'm going to be able to film for much longer because this is getting pretty extreme gravel. Is this even classed as gravel? I think this is more mountain bike territory. It's definitely made harder by trying to do it one handed. That's for sure. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's done it. Um, oh my god, okay, I'm definitely gonna have to put the camera down now. Yeah, I don't know if you can quite make that out on the camera, but that's definitely not gravel. Google says we can bike about it. Yeah, well, Google don't know nothing, clearly. Yeah, if Google says we can do it, surely, uh, those well, we can, right? Well, let's try to prove Google right then. I'll take this opportunity to uh, big up prime components because these are road wheels and they are standing up to that. So get yourself some. What a beautiful bit of road along the coast there. This is what it's all about. A lovely little flowing, swooping turns, nice road surface. What more do you want? Ah, oh, and the view. Can you see that? Mega! Today's ride has really been a bag of all sorts. It has literally had everything you could possibly think of, but it's certainly been interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm having such a good time. No well, it was bound to happen at some point, wasn't it? But day five of the trip and uh, yeah, first time getting the puncture. Can't really complain about that. Anyway, it's back on the road. Quick update on uh, distance and whatnot. We are just about to hit 60 miles. Moving time is four hours, two minutes. I think we've got about 10 miles or so, there or thereabouts, until we hit Barcelona. Looks like we're actually gonna have some time to enjoy ourselves and not just rush, eat some dinner and go to bed. That'd be nice, wouldn't it?
So we made it to Barcelona. We're here at the hotel now. Today did end up being a little bit tougher than what we anticipated. And as you may have seen, we didn't quite make it before dark yet again. So hopefully that changes tomorrow. We've been out, we've seen some of the sights, we've filled our bellies. Now all that's left is to get a good night's sleep tonight and then tomorrow it's the final leg. We are all feeling it now and we are definitely tired. Thankfully, tomorrow's leg is a pretty easy one. I think we've only got around 60 miles on the cards and then we'll be in Girona. I really cannot wait for this. I've been wanting to visit Girona for a long, long time and tomorrow we will be there. Anyways, that's enough for now. Good night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It is almost nine o'clock now. Having a bit of a lay in this morning. I think we all needed it. We've just come down and had some breakfast in the hotel. Today is actually a Spanish bank holiday. So we're a little bit worried that there's not gonna be many options to places to eat that are open. So our plan of attack was get some food in us now, get loaded up and then hit the road. Let's go. What's wrong with him? It hurt a lot. <laughs> no more than Just the knees ass. or? No, my ass as well. <laughs> yeah, Ben bless him. He's having a few, few issues. Let's put it that way. He's in a bit of pain, but he's pushing through. He's a soldier. I know for a fact, we're all definitely going to be glad to finally be in Girona. It has been a hard six days, but I'll tell you one thing I'm really, really looking forward to is when we finally get to Girona, we're going to be able to go out on some nice rides without all these bloody bags on our bikes. Oh, it's gonna feel like I'm on a rocket ship. I cannot wait for that. Anyways, let's get into this ride. 60 miles to do, or 60 something. I can't remember what it is. I'm not the route master for this journey. I'm just along for the ride. Cracking along here, there's this lovely, long, straight, flat beach road. Yeah, it's very easy to just tick away at about 20 mile an hour or just over. I'm actually doing 22 right now. It's quite nice, <laughs> makes a bit of a change. We're currently 13 miles in. So, uh, you know, a little chunk off of today's ride. And I know I've said this every day, but again, the mission is get there before dark. And I don't want to jinx it, but I think today might be the day. We've got about six hours until it gets dark. So yeah, if we can't do 47 miles in six hours, then well, there's something seriously wrong. <laughs> Famous last words, eh? <laughs> like this food like that you can't beat it i'm no nutritionist but i'm pretty sure when you're doing rides like this you are allowed to just eat whatever you want, whatever you want. and moral of the story Hello. if you fancy a mcdonald's when you're on one of these rides just stop and treat yourself <laughs> back on the road 42 miles in now we are now heading away from the coast pointing towards the mountains i believe we've got around 20 miles or so and then we will be in Girona. I cannot wait. The legs are feeling good. They can definitely feel that they've had some abuse, but surprisingly, I feel pretty strong. I think when you're doing these sort of multi-day 
kind of rides there does become a point when your legs just sort of give in <laughs> and they just go okay this is what we're doing how are your legs i never jab what <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling pretty cracked. I just want to be there now, do you? Yeah, I, I am feeling like that. But I was just saying, I feel like once you get a few days in, your legs, they sort of shut up after a while, oh, don't yeah, they? Yeah. And they just go, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. I'm used to this now, let's go. Yeah. So I think today my legs actually feel better than they did yesterday in a way. We should keep going for another week. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I mean, hopefully that means they're going to feel real good once we get these bags off. Oh, yeah. And we start smashing the heels of Girona. Oh, get me there. Back way. Back way. Right, you just saw that puncher. Yeah? Yeah, I Are hate you a convert yet. Uh, I hate to admit it, it is good, isn't it? Ben just got a well, yet another puncher. <laughs> I've got three punchers in this rear tyre. And he hasn't had to plug one of them. Just, just they've sealed themselves as if by magic. Yeah, I hate to admit it, Fubilis is bloody good. I want to go over like that. Is it? it that, was, that was an EF team. Right? It's like <laughs> Disneyland for cyclists. So we can't be far now. We're just about to hit 60 miles and I'm um, seeing nothing but signs for Girona. So at least we must be going in the right direction. <laughs> oh man, this journey has been incredible. There has been so many ups and downs. I think before I came on this trip, I actually thought it was gonna be easy, which, uh, well, it's probably a bit, little bit ignorant of myself really, but yeah, it certainly hasn't been easy. It has been testing, but now, we're finally rolling into Girona. It almost feels a little bit surreal. Six days ago, we set off in Alicante, and now we're rolling into Girona. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See that, mate? What is it? Check the flag. What's that mean? We did it. We did it! And it's still light. We've actually completed our mission for once. <laughs> Six days, three lads, and a whole load of potato brava. <laughs> Put the red carpet out for us. <laughs> right, so that's it. Day six is done. We have managed to clock up a total of 491 miles over the six days. Finally made it to Girona, which was our end destination. We've done it in the time we set out to do. We're feeling good about it. I'm gonna have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna leave this video here. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on Girona itself so I can show you around and see everything there is to offer. So we made it to Girona. I'm really pleased I invited him. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.